Hi, I'm Sean Hall with Sodium Dental. Uh, today I just want to go over something really quick, which is, does your sensor work in DEXIS? That's a common question we get here. Does the Aurora sensor work in DEXIS imaging software? A lot of you out there have DEXIS imaging, and we would love for you to use our awesome sensor in your software. I'm sure you already love your DEXIS sensor, so, and I wouldn't say anything bad about it at all, but sometimes you might need a size one. Um, or if you're feeling like that size one and a half Texas Platinum isn't big enough for you, you'd like a size two. It's where the Aurora really shines. Um, not to mention five years, full coverage warranty, all for the purchase price. That means if you kick on it, you trip it, you bite it, anything goes wrong with the sensor, we cover you for five years. And you know, that's a benefit of the Aurora you're probably not gonna see uh, with any other sensor. Uh, even when they sell you support contracts more often than not, what really happens, they tell you, hey, you bit the sensor, we don't cover that. So I had a quick opportunity to set up not the best video in the world here, so I apologize for that, but I had my hands on a Dexas software and an Aurora sensor and a Nomad, so I thought I'd just quickly show you uh, how the software works um, and how quick that twain interaction is. I'll just pop me over here there I am, all right, let's do this. So it's pretty simple. Uh, Dexas basically now allows Twain devices. Uh, this little message is popping up here that I clicked OK to because what happens is Dexas uh, charges you about $1,800 for this Twain module. So I'll go ahead and pause that message when it pops up. You've probably seen this before. It's a little registration message in Dexas. Uh, you know, you pay for it once and then you've got it forever. I wish they personally would just give this um, feature to their customers. I mean, you paid enough for their imaging software that I think you deserve to not have to continue to pay every time you want to use a feature of the imaging software you paid for. But that's not my business. So let's go ahead and watch how quickly this goes through this. So I'm going to go ahead and click uh, to capture a series, just like you would in Dexas. Uh, it's going to pop up. It's ready for exposure. We're going to go ahead and... This is a test sensor. We're going to go ahead and just x-ray a key fob. Um, it's going to go ahead and pop up right away, go back into Twain mode. Now, depending on the speed of your computer, this can happen faster if you're working on a faster machine. If you're working on a slower machine, it happens a little slower. Um, the added couple of seconds there is because of the Twain interaction, but it could be a small price to pay in comparison to literally paying a gigantic price for Dexas Platinums that fail or sensors that aren't covered under warranty. So, you know, we're still looking at there. I triggered it two, three, four, and we're back up. So. You know, you're back into recapturing about every five or six seconds if you have a quick computer. Um, I know staff members are fast, but for the most part, most people find that to be pretty... So you see it took uh, about, I don't know, five seconds in between capture and ready. Um, we'd like to see that a little faster. It is faster in softwares like X-ray Vision, but it's the Twain interaction with the uh, Dexas software. It slows it down just a touch. But, but you know, for most offices, it's a, still a great deal. It gets your uh, Aurora sensors into Dexas with no problem. Um, your staff can use it conveniently without having to hit a lot of buttons. And it also gives us the ability to throw filters on through our Twain application if you like our imaging filters more than you like Clearview. If you like Clearview, we just don't filter the image and let you go ahead and Clearview it when it comes into Dexas. So once again, that's the Aurora sensor uh, twained into Dexas, no problems. All right, well, thank you for your time. Uh, comment below, let me know if there's any other quick demonstrations you'd like to see.